we are given that a and b are roots of the equation x square minus 10 c x minus 11 d is equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of the roots a plus b is equal to 10 c and the product of the roots is equal to minus 11 d. Similarly, c and d are roots of the equation x square minus 10 a x minus 11 b is equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of the roots c plus d is equal to 10 a and the product of the roots c times d is equal to minus 11 b. Let's call these results 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Now adding results 1 and 3, we get a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 10 times a plus c, which implies that b plus d is equal to 9 times a plus c. Let's call this result 5. Multiplying results 2 and 4, we get a, b, c, d is equal to 121 times b times d, which implies that a times c is equal to 121. Let's call this result 6. Now, since a is a root of x square minus 10 cx minus 11 d is equal to 0, therefore, a square minus 10 ac minus 11 d is equal to 0. Similarly, since c is a root of x square minus 10 ax minus 11 b is equal to 0, therefore it follows that c square minus 10 ac minus 11 b is equal to 0. Now adding these two results, we get a square plus c square minus 20 ac minus 11 times in brackets b plus d is equal to 0. Now b plus d is equal to 9 times a plus c from result 5 and a times c is equal to 121 from result 6. Substituting these results we get a square plus c square which can be written as a plus c whole square minus 2ac minus 20 ac minus 99 times a plus c is equal to 0 which can be written as a plus c whole square minus 99 times a plus c minus 22 times ac which is equal to 121 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic in a plus c Therefore, solving for a plus c, we get 99 plus minus square root of 99 square plus 4 times 22 times 121 divided by 2. Now, in the numerator, under the square root, 99 square can be expressed as 9 square times 11 square and 121 can be expressed as 11 square. Therefore, a plus c simplifies to 99 plus minus 11 times square root of 9 square or 81 plus 4 times 22 which is 88 divided by 2. The expression under the square root is equal to 169 which is 13 square Therefore, a plus c is equal to 99 plus minus 13 times 11 or 143 divided by 2. Therefore, a plus c is either equal to 242 divided by 2 which is equal to 121 or minus 44 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 22. Now when a plus c is equal to minus 22, then a minus c whole square, which is equal to a plus c whole square minus 4ac is equal to 
minus 22 whole square minus 4 times AC which is equal to 121 and this simplifies to 2 square times 11 square minus 4 times 11 square which is equal to 0. It therefore follows that A is equal to C. However, we are given in the problem statement that A is not equal to C and therefore this solution is ruled out. Moving on to the case when A plus C is equal to 121, it follows that A minus C whole square which is equal to A plus C whole square minus 4AC is equal to 121 square minus 4 times 121 which is clearly not equal to 0 and therefore A is not equal to C as given in the problem statement. Therefore A plus C is equal to 121. Now we are required to evaluate A plus B plus C plus D. This can be rearranged as A plus C plus B plus D. Now B plus D is equal to 9 times A plus C as determined earlier and therefore A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 10 times A plus C which is equal to 1210 which is the required answer.